I don't know how many people I have heard this from this offseason. I'm more nervous than excited. I said yesterday to you, and I think that this is true. Man up. I said this to you yesterday, which Can't is that, that if the <laughs> adult up, adult up, um, I, like if the 49ers were a movie, um, their um, their trailer sucks. It, it it completely stinks. They need a new marketing person to 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 repackage this training camp. It's been a bad training camp. How many trailers have you seen for a movie that you're like, I'm seeing that, that's awesome, and a you lot. get there and it's terrible. Well, right, right. Trailers so can I'm be not, misleading. They can, and I'm not saying that, that the trailer even matters at the end of it. Once the season starts, the season starts, and, and, and that's what matters. But what I'm getting at is I'm deciding right now to put this on my own shoulders. Yeah. If you're letting Brandon Ayuk and Trent Williams – and Parag Marate and Jed York and Business and McCaffrey's calf. And if you're letting all of those things ruin your excitement for the season and the fact that the Niners are coming off a frustrating Super Bowl loss, I don't know, man, maybe that's that's on you. That's on you. I choose to focus on something different starting today, which is that the 49ers are still a Super Bowl favorite. They are really good. They are stacked. I have... Look at my hand here. I'm making a zero. That's how much concern I have about Brandon Ayuk and Trent Williams missing week one. Same. Zero. I don't care. They're good. No, but I do care. But they're I going. Care. I know they're going to be there. That's what I mean. I know they're going to be there. I haven't there. worried about any of this, and I am I feel like I'm as big a Niner fan as there is. You are. I, I don't. Whatever. Take care of business, dude. I mean, I, I'd love for you to be there, but I'm not worried about it because there's a lot of other well, weapons I don't. I like the saying, "Freak out when you find out." Like I'm not freaking out yet. I don't freak out if they're zero and four. Well, I look, wouldn't even freak out if they were zero and three. The two things are different. They are different. Like let 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 me let me tell you. And I've been saying this every day that like we we are still nowhere near my Trent Williams worry date. And I, the more I thought about that, I don't even know what that date is. I guess it would be September 9th. And I have literally zero worry that that's going to come to be. He knows the playbook inside and out. It's all he has to do is backpedal like three steps with his arms in front of him to train. He's good. Bro, they could sign him during pregame warm-ups. He's good. They could sign him during pregame warm-ups. Backpedal, 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 yeah, yeah, his yeah. hands out. The yeah, guy like, can't get by him. Brock Purdy's alive. The it's Brandon easy. one is different, and I get why it annoys people, um, but I I just I think it's time to uh, to move forward and accept a couple of things, which is that the both sides – have been overly stubborn, petty, competitive, whatever words you want to use. Uh, and then you can choose to accept that or not. Um, I, you and I said this yesterday. I don't want any more tweets from Pelissero or Garofolo or anybody. I don't want any more about, like, it's moving down the field. It's a positive day. It's a negative day. There, there are renewed efforts. Forget it. Forget it. You're doing your thing. I think both of you are a little bit lame for doing it the way you're doing it, but you're doing it, and I I don't think that it is going to affect the season at all. Well, it, what's weird to me is that's this is how the 49ers do business, and it's happened a number of times, right, with Bosa and Debo, and but, but, and then we freak out every time, and this is how it goes. But, yes but they were no. free agents. Yes, yes and no. Well, no, Bosa wasn't a free agent. Debo, the same thing. They, were all, restructured. they were all heading into their fifth-year option. And, and and so it's time to get paid. And Brandon is, he's going to get paid by somebody. The difference is, is we didn't, we, Bosa and Debo, there were no, like, the Niners have agreed with the Patriots on a deal if he want. they didn't do that. Yeah. This has been more contentious. Um, it's been more public. I'll grant all of that. But you're not wrong. Do you know what you go through if you get to arbitration as a baseball player? No. Like, so they, they do you mean they, that emotionally, or do you mean like they, conceptually? They grant you arbitration, right? Right. And if you don't settle, you go to court. You go to court, and then your team has lawyers, <laughs> and they lift up every rug and find out every piece of dirt on you, whether it's statistical or otherwise. Did you ever do this? No, no, I was non-tendered by the Giants, so I that's why I signed with the Dodgers. Right. But like I've heard stories where. You can either sit in court with your attorney and your agent and listen to all that and listen to all that where they're like, well, Mark Willard hit uh, 125 with the runners in scoring position. Uh, 
his his OPS was this. Uh, he made an error in Game Three of the uh, NLCS that cost the Giants a championship. Word was in the clubhouse that he was not a good teammate. I mean, it gets personal. Wow! And you sit there, and then the judge sits there and listens to all of it. The arbiter, the judge. It's a weird situation, it, it, right? And then it's either you you, you want five point two, the team's offering you four point two. You can settle out of court for four point eight. But you want your 5.2. I mean, look what happened to J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis is exactly what I was thinking about. Right? Yep. And now, I don't, is he on a team right yeah, now? He just got signed, I think, uh, last week by Baltimore, good. maybe. Good. Because he's a good dude. Yeah, he got let go. But by, he got caught up. And that rule's got to change where... Totally. So, totally. yeah, I mean, it, it's ugly. The business side of sports, which I hated, is ugly. And my agent would call about this, this, and this. And they're saying this and this. I just like I just let me run up, run out between the lines and get dirty and play hard and hopefully we win. I I hated all that. So I still well, so I still as a fan now on the other side of it and a member of the media, I I just it, it, it maybe it's PTSD, but I just don't I don't do your thing, but I care about you when you're on the field trying to win my team a game that I'm a fan of. Yeah, I just want to like I it, this was is my suggestion to myself if anyone wants to do it as well, like just pull the lens back. We're way too zeroed in on Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. Pull the lens back I and agree. if you want to have a bigger conversation about the way the 49ers go about this, that I find interesting because you're right. This has been a few years in a row. And I do personally believe that one thing leads to the next. I do believe that the 49er brass is behaving this year like somebody broke up with them. I do believe that the 49er brass got their butts kicked by Nick Bosa, and I think they're carrying that with them. I do. And so they are very stubborn, and the 49ers don't like to lose deals. Um, however, the 49ers have paid and paid and paid and paid and paid. They have taken care of their guys. I don't want to hear somebody say DeForest Buckner, for God's sakes. Don't don't be over there. Oh, I want the one time. Like, they have. Dibs is saying it. The somewhere. 49ers <laughs> have done a great job with that. They have paid over and over and over again. So, you know, like, these things can both be true at the same time, which is that the 49ers have been, I don't want to use the word generous. It's th This is adult sports here. The 49ers have done a good job of taking care of their people. And, yes, they have reached an era where I think they run the risk of being a little petty with the way that they go about uh, these kinds of situations. So, once you do get through this, Mark, they treat you like gold. Like, remember all the grades that NFL teams got last year? The Niners had, like, they were the top of the, they got A's and B's and almost everything. So, like, well, they might be stubborn on this and they don't like to lose on the contractual 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 part of the thing like once you once you're once you're done with it i don't know that there's too many organizations that treat the players and their families better than the niners from what you hear agreed so when, like once you're over with this it's good it's yeah. probably like hey it's business who cares so i like I, I i revert back to something i said about a week and a half ago that i think at moments i've lost and uh let's get it back i trust the 49ers I do too. It does not mean there that, that 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 is not like oh they never mess up. No, I I said off the top of this show and others, it is categorically a mistake that they're even in this situation. Right, you're potentially playing around with or shopping a star player in August. That's dumb. That's not what you meant to do. I know it's not what you meant to do because good teams don't do that. Well, if if but, you, if you don't want to be here, well, we're gonna trade you. It probably got to that point where, like, dude, come on. If you don't want to be here, this is our best offer. Yeah. If you don't want to be a Niner, we can find someplace and, else. And, and wouldn't you argue that with each passing day now, and maybe this is what Charvarius Ward and George Kittle were saying yesterday, with each passing day now, it does start to move back into the, the balls in Brandon's court. Like, if the if the Niners are going to be like, look, we, we renewed an offer, we upped our offer, and we agreed with the Steelers, and we agreed with the Browns, and we agreed with the Patriots, and everybody's willing to, willing to give you general generational money, and you're still in shorts and sneakers. I That's fair also. Dude, what are you doing? Yeah, You've been given options when you don't even really deserve them. You're not a free agent. Okay, Brandon, <laughs> pick a spot. Let's go. I think we're there. And I think 
I don't know what happened, but maybe he came back and just, I want to be a Niner, man. Let's go. Let's get this done. Of course he does. I want to win a Super Bowl. He's a crazy person to not want to stay. Let's have a parade on Market Street. Let's go. Yeah. But then again, okay, so do it. Maybe the parade (laughs) can start from Santa Clara and just come up, you know, 280 the, 280 the whole way. Just like a, a, one, Everybody a line, one-week parade, yeah, set it, up hotel rooms. Line 280, <laughs> and then right into, like, I don't know, by the ballpark to Market Street, by the ferry building and up market, make it like a four-hour parade. 